Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Those cross watching in today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what does your person want to share with you. Okay, so what is it that they're holding on to, and what is it that they want to open up and um, share with you? It is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. definitely see that your person wants to open up okay they want to open up they want to communicate um, I feel like they want to come forward here okay so to me it feels like this is someone who wants to get closer to you okay if there's been a disagreement or an argument or some sort of conflict or confrontation um, it feels like your person wants to straighten it out, okay? It feels like they want to make things right. They want, Perhaps they want to offer you an apology. Perhaps they want to work, you know, resolve and work through something here. But it does feel like, or if you guys haven't been necessarily communicating, I see that this person wants to break the silence. They want to reach out. You know, they want to extend the olive branch, basically, right? I'm also seeing that your person wants to be very upfront and honest with you. So if there are some things that they're holding on to, they feel deep down inside that you should know certain things about them. And it's not that they're being, you know, purposely secretive or, you know, it's not that they're trying to be um, deceptive or manipulative. But it does feel like your person might be holding on to some information that they want to share with you because they want to be honest with you. OK, and they want to be honest with you throughout the through the connection. That's the kind of connection they want to build with you, you know, uh, one that is transparent and one that is honest. And that's the, how they want to approach this thing. I'm also seeing that your person wants to, if this is the early stages, I see them wanting to make a move towards you. And I do, and I do see them making some sort of big, bold move, okay? So if they haven't asked you out yet, this is something that they want to do. If this, you know, if you guys have just been flirting endlessly um, around in the office space or wherever here, it feels like your person, you know, is picking up on the vibe, they're picking up on the energy, and they're picking up on, you know, that you're responding, okay? You're responding to their energy, you're responding to their attraction. So this is someone who does want to, it seems like they want to move things forward, okay? And moving things forward with you could simply be, you know, depending on what stage you're at, because you're not all, you know, in the same relationship you're not all dealing with the same person right but depending on what stage you're at for instance your person might want to ask you out your person might want to strike up a conversation with you your person might want you know might want to make a move towards you they might want to take the relationship or the connection to the next level okay so it just feels like you know there is a lot of enthusiasm there's a lot of attraction as well and it feels like your person is wanting to you know move towards you if this is someone who's ghosted you, if it is someone who's pulled away, it does feel like this is someone who wants to come back, okay? And them coming back feels like, it feels genuine. It feels genuine, it feels sincere. So it's not like, you know, they're coming back simply because, you know, um, they just want to and it's convenient for them and it's on their terms. It does feel like they want to offer up an explanation. It does feel like they want to, you know, work with you. Even if they made the mistake of ghosting you or, you know, if they've made the mistake of pulling away or not seeing the value in the relationship, if it's like some time away from you might have helped them make that realization. So this is why they're wanting to come back. You know, um, you know, they see the value. They see the potential this connection has. They see just how much you guys share in common or just how far this could possibly go. So this is someone who doesn't want to come back and, you know, build on a connection and, I feel like if you were to ask them some very hard-hitting questions, I feel like they would be very honest. I feel like they would tell you the truth, even if it might hurt you a little bit, okay? So be prepared for that. So if you ask some hard-hitting questions, you might potentially get some hard-hitting answers back, is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, there could be, here's the other thing, and it does feel a little bit of a bombshell, but there could be someone else around this person. So... For instance, maybe they're, you know, attracted to you. Maybe they're in a relationship with someone else, but they're attracted to you. Okay, and maybe that's why they haven't made a move just yet. Could be that. It could be that this person, you know, this is someone, this particular energy, someone whom you've had an attraction, 
you've shared this attraction uh, for this person for quite some time now. It could be, because uh, it does feel like, there's something about this that feels, it's feeling a little nostalgic. And I don't know if it's because this is a childhood sweetheart, or if it is, you know, you've had history with this person, um, and you've had some, you know, you've had, you maybe had a summer fling with this person. If so, maybe you and this individual want to recreate what you had, okay, recreate what you had, and maybe not necessarily end it this time, you know, keep it going, so to speak. Um, yeah, especially, okay, so especially because right now we, we, we started with the Knight of Swords. So if there's no contact, no communication, I do feel like this person is going to reach out. It will happen at a time where, you know, nostalgia is just going to wash over them. When they're feeling quite nostalgic, when they're feeling very upset, when they're missing you, when they're missing what they had with you, when, when they want to go back to what they had with you. So it does feel at a time where, yeah, they're, they're feeling quite nostalgic here. Um, and it feels like they're coming back with like they're very motivated it's a strong sense of direction it's a strong sense of motivation there's this uh attraction if this person is not communicating with you right now then i do feel like you know you're possibly picking up on some strong um intuitive messages okay so especially if you're seeing their name everywhere if you're seeing like 11 11 as well okay um i feel like the universe is trying to communicate or this person is trying to communicate with you and i think that you know, you're, what you're doing is you're energetically picking up on their messages. So, you know, they may be a little bit too uh, proud or too stubborn to reach out and communicate with you just yet, but it does feel like they're trying to reach you in other ways. So, you know, especially 1111 is coming up very strongly here because of the, you know, the, the way that the wands and the swords are lifted into the air, raised in the air. So if you're seeing that, it feels like your person is thinking of you, okay? They're thinking of communicating with you. They're thinking of asking you out. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about you and them. They're thinking about, you know, what it would be like to have you as their girlfriend, as their boyfriend, as their partner. Um, they're thinking about uh, maybe, you know, making that move, messaging you. So it does, it does seem like, you know, your person has you on their mind. They're missing you as well. They may be wanting to work. Uh, through things with you they want to talk to you okay they want to make a move towards you they want that reconciliation they want to act on their attraction that connection that they feel they share with you um, they could also be younger this is an individual who could potentially be younger or someone who i'm picking up to be very youthful and just very very energetic just very um like very on all the time okay I also find it interesting how the horses are heading back in that direction. Okay, both the knight, both the knights here are heading back. So it does feel like this is someone who either wants to go back to what you had, or they want to make their way back to you, or it feels like maybe this is someone who wanted to make a move and they regret not making that move. So they want to go back and, you know, try to maybe they rob themselves of the chance or the opportunity to do that so they want to go back and make things right with you it just feels like there's this sense of going back maybe this is someone whom you've had history with so they want to go back to the past with you okay they want to go back and recreate re-establish you know that connection that you've had it's this strong sense of going back to something okay coming back to you coming back to the connection that you had or the friendship that you've had um, or if it is someone who's ghosted you, and even if you didn't get that chance to build that connection, so this is person, you know, this is someone wanting to go back and just make things right. You, you, you see where I'm going with it, right? But there is this, you know, Knight of Swords, there's this urgency to communicate, urgency to, you know, um, get something off their chest on the Knight of Wands. There's this attraction, there's this passion that they feel, you know, very strongly they want to act on. Okay, I'm just going to pull out one or more card, one more, or just a few more cards to see what's going on here. Okay, so the star card. All right, so your person does feel like, um, they feel like what they had with you was something special, maybe even something a little bit different. Maybe they feel like this is something that, you know, they haven't, they feel as though they've never shared that connection with anyone else um, before, okay? And they feel like there was some potential there, but they ended things prematurely. So they feel like there's something different about you, something that stands out, something that's unique, or they feel like the connection they shared with you is unique, okay? And, you know, that Knight of Wands, it's like 
remember when I said this person is coming back and it does feel like it's a genuine, sincere, there's genuine, sincere energy behind it. So it's not just them coming back to finish what they started, okay? It's them coming back to, you know, genuinely build this connection with you that they feel like they've missed out on. Alrighty, guys, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, thank you guys for watching and listening. Please share your support if you haven't already by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And bye for now.